looking at this pair there are three different types of inductors in this mobile pcb and i noticed that most of you guys don't really know how to identify inductors on a mobile pcb so in this video i'm gonna show you the th three different types of inductors on this mobile pcb and how you can test them and identify them on any mobile pcb i am running a mobile repairing course this time around if you have interest wanna learn more make sure you message me using the number on the screen right there on whatsapp okay and before you do that i want you to understand that this is a paid course so the price is fair the cost is worth it so this is something that you really want because i give everything in details so i'm gonna show you how you can test that using your multimeter right here okay so first how can you identify inductors in this mobile pcb most of you guys tend to be confused of this type of capacitors and this type of inductors right here so at, in this pcb right here these are inductors and if you look very well you will see that they have a different color from capacitors so you don't need to get confused with these capacitors and these inductors i see most of you guys calling these capacitors these are not capacitors right here if you look you will see that they are almost brown like these capacitors but they are having like a black color they are not that brown like these capacitors right here and if you check the size you will see that they are really big and flat and this other one right here which is black almost like a resistor this is an inductor this is a coil you understand so if you look very carefully you will see that it's really flat and if you check the height yeah like right here if you check the height you will see that it's really high no resistor will have this type of height in a mobile pcb you understand so if you look closely you will see that you can be able to identify inductors by just looking at this and we have another inductor right here which is almost like the one that i think you know much and i'm going to show you that it's really black and if you check the corners then you will see some testing points right here you will see a conductor on this side and you can see that on the other side again to understand so these inductors that i'm talking about right here i think you guys can easily identify them on a mobile pcb like this this, these are the things that I'm talking about. These are coils, right? So if you look closely, you will see that there are cables. I tried to break this one. And if you look right here, you will see that there are cables inside. So these are coils on a mobile PCB. So how can you test these inductors, these coils using your multimeter? You will have to set your multimeter right here to buzzer mode and make sure you are hearing a beep. And the way that you test coils in a mobile PCB is different from how you test any other component. You are not going to put any probe to earth because these inductors that you are seeing right here are not connected in parallel. So no side here is connected to ground right here. So you will have to test them side by side and each of them needs to give a beep, you understand. So when testing them side by side, you need to hear a beep in each of them so the one that you don't hear a beep you will need to change them so you see these ones right here are beeping this one that you always think it's a capacitor it's supposed to beep you understand so that's how you need to test them one by one side to side they need to beep if it does not beep that means that the inductor is broken and you will need to replace it okay so thank you and see you soon